Racing to the 2021 Kentucky Derby, and this time we take another prospect update. Today we're going to talk about one of the East Coast winners in Team Merchants. He won at Saratoga in a second lifetime start, but Team Merchants, a son of Nyquist, out of an Uncle Mo, uh, of course, Nyquist by Uncle Mo from the Uncle Mo's first crop. And Nyquist ended up racing 11 times with eight wins. He won the Florida Derby. He won the Kentucky Derby. He won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. So he definitely was able to win early, and he was able to win some high-class races and ended up winning the 10 furlong Kentucky Derby. Now, out of uh, this crop, Team Merchants is basically the top horse out of this crop as we point towards 2021. A lot of Calbred breeding with the West Coast connections in this one. Of course, Doug O'Neill, the trainer, won the Kentucky Derby with Nyquist. The owner, Paul Redham, he owned Nyquist and he owns Team Merchants. The mayor on this one was Edwina E., who was a Calbred, and she was by Square Eddie, another horse owned by Paul Redham. So, and then the second mayor was also a Calbred. So a lot of West Coast connections on this horse, but one of the key factors is a key race and a key race is usually identified if you have a subsequent winner coming out of that race and team merchants kind of participated in back-to-back -back key races he started his career with a fifth place finish and two horses came back to win out of that race in olympiad and reinvestment risk and reinvestment risk ended up running in the hopeful and the breeders cup juvenile then in his second race he picked up a victory team merchants did and two horses came out of there and ended up winning their next starts 10 for 10 who ran second in the nashua and second in the remsen and then speaker's corner who won his next start and then uh, looks like he's going to be pointed towards a three-year-old campaign so back-to-back -back key races with two subsequent winners coming out of them so it looks like he's faced some of the better two-year-olds on the East Coast. He debuted with a 60 Equibay speed figure, bumped that up to an 81 in winning that second time out, and went with a fast, uh, fast average pace race shape. But Team Merchants, you know, he looked good. He looked fast. He came uh, a little bit wide in that second start. So I think Team Merchants, you know, one of the things you want to look for is just a little bit of ability in their races. You don't want them just to dominate with speed. You want them to be able to show a couple of gears. You want them ultimately to be able to relax a little bit uh, because that's what you're going to need as you go the longer distances and in the higher class races. It's not so much about raw speed. It's about uh, tactically positioning yourself so that you can apply that speed in the most critical part of the race. So Team Merchants with an impressive win in his second lifetime start. He's a February full, so that's a positive sign. And no workout since winning that race on September the 7th. Haven't heard any news at all, so I'm not sure where they're pointing for. You know, he did run in the East Coast, but he does have the West Coast connection, so we'll see if he points for one of the races, either at Aqueduct or if he goes back out West or even Oaklawn Park. That's a look at Team Merchants on today's Prospect Outlook. Coming soon, the future book will be coming out on Monday, starting at the end of this year and all through the Triple Crown season of 2021. Watch for that. We'll also do a preview video and give you a little bit of glimpse of what that's going to be about coming up soon. Remember, hit subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and share this video with your horse racing friends as we lead you up to the 2021 Kentucky Derby.